Welcome back everybody. This is Shahzeb Kamal from PudinaTutorials.com and we are learning the Angular 4. Welcome back everybody. So guys here in this video we will be talking about the routing in Angular 4. What is actually routing? Um, in general languages, in common programming languages or even the most famous rendering language called HTML, we can have multiple pages means a single web page is a web page but multiple web pages are called a website so to go to another page is what we need to do is to uh create links of that page actually we have when we just created the pages we just created their links but we have to mention their links on another pages to make the navigation area and by making the navigation area we just provide the links or we just anchor the pages on different pages to go in each other by the by making the navigation or menu area so in that way we just can access to different pages from different pages the the another way is to put the iframe but it's another topic by the way but uh, in angular this is called routing and how it works we just simply it works in the same way if i just go to the browser in here in routing you can see that here yeah, i'm removing this one this one is the basic url of our web page okay you can see that it's there and you can see that these are the things we've done uh, almost I, if i just add a card the line break here sorry uh, the slash here and if i just put the the new the page name suppose i just put here the um um one and line break then we'll get the data which is inside the one page but there is no one or two page but for now we're not getting any error because we didn't add any kind of error for these pages but they are just blank because they are even doesn't exist so i'm going to the notepad or actually the intellij idea i'm just gonna route i'm just gonna route the pages the uh, for now what i'm just gonna route actually the content in, in the header makes a single application or the single web page but i'm just routing these both two page two uh, components as a routing you can just make your own you can make your own application you can uh, route them in a perfect way different pages different routing so to route anything uh, to add a routing feature in any application you just need to go to the uh, module the module.ts you can see that this one and first of all we need to import something for now you can see that here these are the imports of different components we've already have so no problem about these elements i'm just going to the major uh, uh the major import the importing from the angular actual angular element so import go there and import and the color braces going inside the color braces and there i'm just putting the uh, first of all i just want to i just want to import the http module and adding in a space and going there and just putting the from means from where i just want to import it and there the the other rate sign and the angular um and the http and save and now we go to the down one <clears throat> another import is import Call the braces rotor module save and then oh sorry this should be like that and then space there and now from I just want to mention the from angular rotor okay that's cool I got both of them now I just want to use of use both of them you can see that now they are there but uh, there is a little problem um, okay color change but you can see that there we, we just didn't use them so we're we just going to use them because you know that we've just import both of them before that we was importing the browser module uh, we just mentioned the browser module there i uh, deciding a comma and going down and then the http module which we just uh, called the top one so here we're just calling the http module first and adding a comma and adding another one the rotor 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 module okay that's cool now the next thing we just did the job of the module for now here another thing we just need to do is dot here a few things more we just need to add the for root okay that's cool sorry the r should be capital for root and the 
parentheses and inside the parentheses the two square brackets and going to the square brackets now yeah we i'm just adding the rotor the uh, the actually path uh, path of the router so the first path inside uh, for adding the path i'm just adding the color braces going inside the color braces and here i'm just adding the path and here the path is it's my choice for now the the path is i i can just put anything like uh for now I'm just putting something like the uh, content. Okay, I can put anything. I just put in the content, any text I can put for now here. Yeah? Adding a comma, going down, and the component, I just want to mention the component for now. So the component is, now, there is the area where we actually have to put the actual thing. So I just need to go to the TS area. I'm just inside the component.ts file for the, uh, sorry, not the component, but the content.component.ts. So here, what was the name of the class we just exported? The content, content, component. So go to the uh, app.module.ts and here the company name is content, component. Okay, now it's done. I just need to go down and now, how much path I just want to add? I just want to add some more paths, so I'm just going down and yeah, uh, as much as paths you just want to add, you just need to add the curly braces and the more things like that and just go down and here I'm just adding another path and uh, yeah, the, I'm adding the header for now. This is my choice. I can put header, I can put any name, any path errors, like I just want to put adding a comma there and going down and the component like this one and the now what was the class of the header we've just exported go there and just check that out go to the header component.ts and the class name is header component so going back to the module.ts and here the header component be careful when you're just putting the name because it's case sensitive so the c should be capital as it is she is he must be capital actually this is what it's going to say now all good all good now what we just need to do we just need to go to the HTML page of the app. I'm just going to the HTML page now. To route, to add the rotor links, uh, or making the navigation, adding an A tag and rotor uh, link. Sorry, in its way, rotor link. And the value for the rotor link I can put is slash. And what was the path? The path was content, the same as the path I've just put it there oh sorry not the ax assets here this is the uh, path content this is the path header so I'm just uh, going to the HTML and this is this is the uh, a tag I've made uh, and in a router link attribute I just put it the uh, content as a value and here I'm just typing content any thing I can put I just want and now the next link I'm adding is I just I've just added two paths so two links router link equal to now here the uh, after the content I'm just putting another one uh, and another one is the header okay awesome cover this one and uh, here are the value I'm just putting here the header and saving this out and just going down and now we just want to show the thing is if I just go to the browser you'll be noticing that yeah it's loading and yeah we just got the content we just got the header okay we got the links there but cool but where is the content when I just click on the header when I just click on the content nothing updating so to render the content of the uh, angular routes I just need to add another thing the route rotor outlet okay cool let's just go to the browser and check that out if it's working fine all working fine go there now just refresh the page well we just really do not need to refresh the page for now but i'm just refreshing if i just remove that and line break now you can see that only this content if i just click on header i'm getting the header welcome to angular 4 this one is the header okay when I just click on the content, I'm just getting only content. The content starts. That means actually we're routing things. And this is the super thing because you know that uh, this is actually called the single page. This application is actually the single page. 
So uh, there are, these are not different pages, but we are getting this content or, or this content, whatever content we just want at, at each time we are getting them. So this is how the routing in HTML, uh, sorry, not the HTML, the Angular 4 works. So in the next class, we will be talking more about it. Stay tuned. And as always, please subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel grow. Leave a comment and we will meet in the next lesson. Till then, goodbye.